the matter of sperm, the child in question would not exist. But now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yeah. Yes, Ms. Wood. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point. But did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made throughout his life? Well, interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to find if a child resulted in those unions, he has no right to blame over this check whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? Well, I see your point. And, by Mr. Huntington's standard, all masturbatory emissions where the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. <laughs> Ms. Woods, you just won your case. Oh, my God. Maybe some wise man told her, with a chance we've been given, we gotta be 